All right, so this is my um, walkthrough for Kyvio. Right now, you can get a lifetime deal with Kyvio. And I just um, did this myself. I just purchased a deal, and you're going to watch me walk through it, the f you know, for the first time. I don't, I don't want to, like, kind of, like, do a whole let me walk through it myself first and then walk through it for you. I'm going to kind of let you watch me stumble through it as well. So what Kyvio is, is it is kind of like a ClickFunnels uh, replacement. So it does funnels just like ClickFunnels does. And you'll see that in a minute. Um, it has uh, membership sites, a blog builder, which ClickFunnels doesn't have. Um, it has email marketing. ClickFunnels has a serious email marketing uh, thing. But this one uh, seems to be okay, right? Um, and it has an affiliate center, which is really cool. And they have their support desk now, um, with this thing, it's called like Insta mailer or whatever. It used to be called Insta suite and they went through a, um, rebranding, right? But now it's called Kyvio and here it says it's upgrading its user interface because of the massive change. We need to switch in steps. It means you'll see a bit of both for certain parts of our software, right? So that just means that they haven't finished off the branding or they're doing a little bit of updating and they're just gonna do it little by little. So um, let's just walk through it. So I did look at the funnel uh, builder and I, I made a little demo page here and let's go ahead and edit this. And so what I liked about this was it kind of sets it up like ClickFunnels. Now with ClickFunnels, it's cool that you can kind of drag these around however you wanted to. Um, however, I don't see the ability to do that right now. Let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can, right? So you can just publish or unpublish. Um, and it doesn't look like you can like drag them around or anything. But, you know, it's not like a deal breaker or anything. I just wanted to tell you what you could. So you come over here to edit it and... Uh, the templates they had weren't the best templates. I'll just keep it 100% with you. I mean, they're okay. And it's a little janky moving stuff around. But again, for a lifetime deal, let's just say this. Um, and I've seen a lot worse with some of these things over here. But it's just like any page builder. It's not going to be like uh, Landing I or Landing E, if however you want to say it. But you can just kind of move stuff around, you know. Um I, earlier when I was doing this, it got a little janky here when I was trying to put this back, but it's actually doing okay now. So, um, and you can see if you want to edit something, you just click the little edit button here and that's the end of that. Um, or you can clone it, in other words, duplicate it, um, and you can edit your text settings. So you can make a line height, uh, white spaces, or formatting. These, these little builders are pretty much the same wherever you go. I thought this was really cool. Um, the templates could be better, but again, all you have to do is these things are really easy to make, man. Um, once you understand the 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 whole like um, like you or insert columns, to, uh, you know, first you just do blocks, right? The blocks are the big part. So you insert the blocks, and then you put the columns inside the blocks, and then you, you, that's whether you want one or two columns or whatever. Like down here. This is two columns, right? This is a two column um, deal that's inside of a bigger block. So once you kind of get the hang of that, um, like this is a, a, you know, the big block and this is just two columns inside of that block. So once you kind of get the hang of how these things are built and then you just kind of drag um, items inside of there. So, you know, you want to put an image in or I want to put a video in, you know, or I want to throw buttons in and then you can, you know, just go from there, man. This stuff is pretty, you know, if you've ever dealt with one of these before, then you kind of know um, how these things work, okay? And so then you got your publishing here, your saving and all this stuff here, um, your options, your header options, um, your conversion tools, um, stri uh, scripts and tracking codes for like um, Facebook. Um, your mobile view is cool, right? Because you, you need to, you know, edit for mobile. So I like that. Um, I would like an iPad view as well because I'm I I I um I edit for all three myself personally, but this isn't too bad, right? So I'm not mad at this. Personally, I have landing eye, so I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm not gonna use their landing pages. Um but if you need a landing page builder, this is perfect, okay? So um the next thing, let's see what else they got going on, right? So this is just your whole like funnel. I like that they give you some quick stats here, like how many clicks you've had, how many conversions you've had, um, and how much money you made if there's a sales page. 
Um, you can add your upsells and downsells. So when you say I want to make a funnel, they ask you what type of funnel you want to make. And I just added two upsells and two downsells. You can say I want one upsell and you know two upsells and one downsell or however you want to do that. And it's, that's pretty decent, right? Um, I thought that was cool. And so then you do have your report, your reports and stats. Um, when you go to like your main page, you can go to each module, but I'm just kind of jumping it, um, jumping into it right now. So here you can do your smart memberships. Um, they're saying I don't have a product, but here you, it's pretty straightforward, man. You just add your products. Um, oh, you got to have your, uh, your payment gateway set up. I haven't done that yet. So we'll, we'll look for that in a minute. Let's see. Um, your blog builder. Let's take a look and see what that does. Right. So, um, so they're saying that the blog module will not be actively developed for the foreseeable future. In other words, what you see is what you get, but I'm still not mad about that. Right. Um, if you want to do some SEO, you can see it's here. Um, they have a, a reason here. We'll read that in a minute. Look at all these goddamn warnings. All right. So they have all these warnings. So let's stop that. So you can set up your email marketing as well here, which I like this. This is really cool. And so let's look at all your posts. So this is where you would create a post or look at all your posts. You can add a post here. Let's see what it looks like. Simple kind of WordPressy stuff. Simple, man. So you have your SEO here. Now, um, obviously you don't have any plugins. So you can't add your web text tool or whatever, but what's really cool is if you did buy web text tool from um, AppSumo, then you can go into web text tool, make sure the SEO is created cool and then pop it in here. But most people kind of, you know, know how to do SEO on their own, but that's, you know, what's, what's here, what's here is what you get, right? So you also have pages just like you would on uh, WordPress. So you can do a page instead of a blog post, which is really cool. And you still have all your WYSIWYG editors and uh, HTML things here. And you can publish or set it to draft and put social share buttons, obviously, there. And so this is your categories and tags or whatever. So it looks pretty cool, right? And again, with the smart membership, um, we'll go to that in a minute, right? So I guess you can go to some membership setup here. Let's see. And this is pretty cool. So there you go. And then they give you a video here so you can figure things out and uh, go from there, right? So here's your general settings. Um, for, so your membership site, your information here, your registration settings. Um, this is all pretty cool. So here's your email settings. Um, again, you probably have to um, use, uh, to get the integration going on for this. Um, a lot of stuff going on here, guys. I mean, seriously. Um, and so let's try to look at email marketing. Let's see what you get with that. So here's your uh, integration right away. So what I like about this is you can use, you know, SparkPost, SendGrid, or Mailgun, Amazon SCS. Um, and then here's your PayPal emails. So this is all your setups right here, right? So your API usernames, passwords, signatures, your secret key or whatever. Um, and this is for the here, I guess. And then they have different secret keys for different things here. Um, but all of your setup is right here, all in one place, right? Which is really cool. And so, uh, but your email, I, I'm not gonna set up anything right now, guys, but the email is pretty much what it is. You can see over here on the side that you got broadcast, um, sequences, a list manager, subscribers, opt-in forms, your setup, and then email templates. Um, if you've ever dealt with a, uh, you know, an email service provider, then you know what that's about. So it looks like they set you up with tutorials or whatever, but basically you get everything all under one roof, right? And so you have an affiliate center, which I thought was really slick. So again, here's your affiliate email, whatever you're going to have your from name. And this is how you set up your, your emails. And here's your general settings, right? Uh, general settings. So you can now allow visitors to set up as an affiliate. Or you could say, no, let me give them a link or whatever. And so you have your form editor, how to set them up on what information you want to get from them to, to, be, an, uh, to be an affiliate. And then the information when you um, sending out, you know, you've been approved or, you know, that type of thing. So there you go. Um, pretty much 
a simple thing, right? So with affiliate things, you get promotional tools, like you can give them links, you can give them um, banners and things like that. You see here, so email swipes, um, which is really cool. You can set up your commissions right here, the plans and, you know, reoccurrings and stuff like that, which is really cool. You can choose a theme uh, and manage your affiliates and then pay out affiliates. Um, and then you have an affiliate area right here as well. Um, I really like that. Um, so you have a support desk. So you have your settings, your knowledge base, and you can choose a theme and then view your support desk and all your tickets. I really like customer service being on here. That's awesome because, um, I mean, that's pretty much what everybody else is missing. Um, they don't add in the customer service portion of this and having a knowledge base is really important. So if you bought fleek, I didn't, but if you bought fleek, this is an excellent time to use your fleeks. And if you don't want to use the knowledge base part, part of that, you can use that here. Right. Um, so that's really cool. If you don't know what fleek is, don't worry about it. It's not, wasn't special anyways. Cause for me, video without video is just dumb. All right. So <laughs> So then they have a special place for your statistics here, your overview, your funnel stats, the visitor logs, visitors by device, location, your traffic sources who revert, uh, referred you, and your sales report, right? And then obviously um, they've got a bunch of tutorials, um, the walkthrough, the affiliate center. They've got everything you need here, right? So uh, I'm pretty much digging what this is, guys. Obviously, I haven't been using this extensively here and uh, i like to start off here so this is back to your dashboard but again so if you want to build your funnel they're going to ask you questions like let's build a new funnel um so i want an opt-in funnel i want a sales funnel i want a product launch funnel or a webinar thing say funnel one more time sunny so then uh then you can customize it right so let's just say we want a webinar funnel and they're going to say customize it and we'll just call this demo two and let's build it and there you go. So this is the webinar page. And let's see what it looks like. Uh, you got to select a template for your webinar. And that's it. And you can see that it has webinar templates. The, the templates weren't all that slick. But, you know, you don't have to be slick. You want as less information as possible. You don't want it to be pretty. You want it to work, right? So kind of giving you some basic stuff here. Uh, to check out so um it's not too shabby and then you have your thank you page really simple stuff really easy to create funnels i like that right it's not over the top of course it could be more but this isn't click funnels and we're looking for a click funnels alternative right so they're in the middle of developing this tool but this tool already works right and so if you want to set up a membership site again we're going to have to um, use our integrations here and so um, if I see over here, so integrations were over here and this is where you would add a new integration here. And so you can add in your PayPal's. Um, and from what I'm understanding, if you wanna use Zapier, you can just um, uh, ask them. It's in beta right now, so that's pretty cool. There is a WordPress, uh, a WordPress plugin and an API token, which is really cool. So I like that. Um, for me, this is a uh, pretty decent for an all-in-one business plan. If you're a newbie just now getting started, this is perfect. You have everything in one place, right? Your email, um, your email marketing. Now, here's the thing: this deal, when you get this lifetime deal. You can get up to like, I think it's 20,000, uh, it's 30,000 visitors, um, but you can only have like 1,000 members, but everything else is stackable. So if you wanted more membership sites, like you can get like, I think it gives you 10, but if you want to stack it up and get five deals, you can make up to 50 membership sites. So if you're an agency, I'm an agency, I need more things, you know? So if you're an agency, like everybody is now, you can stack the deals, which is pretty cool. But I wanna talk to about this more for the newbie side of things. If you are a newbie and you're ready to um, get started and get into business, this is perfect. You have a landing page builder. You have email marketing in one place. You can set up physical products as well as 
um, informational products and their membership sites. Um, you can set up your landing pages to set up sales uh, sales funnels or marketing funnels, um, and you can do your reports. You look at your reports and uh, statistics, and you can set up tagging and autoresponders and everything all in one place. So you can kind of get in here and mess around and see what it is that you want to do. If you want to set up a, an agency or if you want to set up your own um, membership site, if you want to set up your own classes or a school or something like that, whatever it is that you want to do, I personally think this is a perfect start. You're talking about 49 bucks for a lifetime. And this company is not brand new. It's been around for quite some time. Um, you can look up Insta Suite and you can see that they've been doing their thing and they actually did a rebranding here and called yourself Kyvio. I don't know why, but uh, uh, the colors are the same as before. But um, it's, it's been around. It's a trustworthy company as far as I'm concerned. And again, it's a no brainer, guys. You have 60 days to make up your mind to say I want it or I don't. Right. So don't be the guy that says, I wish I would have got that deal. If you are on Envato, in my opinion, before I've used this, but from right now, looking at how this looks, this is kicking Envato in the pants. So if you need something to replace your Envato membership site, I would say go with this, right? That's my first uh, look at it. So you kind of went through it at the same time that I did, guys. Um, I'll do a better um, video once I get in here and get to playing around a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to put this out really quickly because I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to know what's up on the inside of uh, Kyvio. So, all right, guys. So there was one little add on that I wanted to add that when you go to integrations um, over here, this is kind of important. So I wanted to add this in. When you go to integrations here, um, you'll come to this new integration. And here's a long list of everything that you can add on, right? So you have GoToWebinar, PayPal, Stripe, ClickBank, ThriveCart, which is really important, um, WSO Pro, uh, Standard and Advanced, Active Campaign, Infusionsoft, all of the little autoresponders, at least uh, the more popular ones, ConvertKit, um, GoToWebinar, which I thought was really cool, Ever uh, EverWebinar. Um, Facebook, Twitter, and some other stuff down here. Pixabay for images and uh, third party SMTP. So Mandrill, Amazon, um, Mailgun, SparkPost, SendGrid. Um, this is really cool, right? So here's all of your integrations, and there's quite a few. So this was really important. So this is how you would add in, for instance, like ThriveCart. Um, and then you need to put in your secret word in ThriveCart. Um, and there's a whole like in their knowledge base on how to set up ThriveCart, which is really cool because other platforms like Envanto do not have ThriveCart integration. So it was really nice to see that here. There's going to be a lot of us that have ThriveCart. So um, I was really excited to see that. There you go. Um, they do have a little setup guide, right? So um, I looked at the setup guide and if I have anything to add, I'll put, put another video up. But for right now, this is a really good walkthrough so you can see how it goes. My opinion is obviously it's not ClickFunnels. It's not super polished yet. It's just a little clunky, but it's definitely worth 49 bucks.